Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Exciting week 24. It's another big life event this week. Hmm. Now, any life event can be scary or exciting. When a life event happens, something big changes. And that change may be, well, maybe you don't really want it to happen. But what's going to happen after the change? It's usually great. Hmm, scary and exciting. Last week, we talked about moving to a new city. I think that started out being quite scary. We didn't know what was going to happen. But then it just got better and better. I think the new city was a pretty good place to live. Big decisions. Well, Yes, they're life events. That just sounds really big. Life events always need a lot of thought and some important decisions. These decisions have to be made by the whole family. We've got grandmother and grandfather there. Are they still going to be with us in the new city? Are we going to be moving away from them? Hmm. They need to be in the decision as well. I think it's really nice if mum and dad talk to you about these big decisions. You are really important. Now, maybe you don't really understand why these decisions are being made. But you are important. Mum and Dad will listen to you and then explain the decision. What is it this week? This one could be really important for you. Oh, what is it? He looks a bit scared. We are going to go to a new school. That is scary. Hmm. Now, you don't know anything about your new school. Maybe you felt really good in your old school, but now you have no friends, you don't know anything about the school. Where's the toilet? Where do you get lunch? Where's your classroom? Oh, these are all pretty scary things to try and find out. But usually, after a few days, your new school is great. I certainly hope so. Let's go and find out. So what do you have to think about? Hmm. Why do you need to change school? Hmm. There could be some different reasons. Different schools do different things really well. Hmm, maybe you love sport. And some schools just do not have any sports area. So that wouldn't be good for you. Maybe you are really good at music. So try to find a school 
that has got a great music teacher. We have one important word. We had one important word last week. And another one today. The important word this week is a go. A go. Oh, right. A long time ago. Oh, that picture really is a long time ago. Hmm. I'm sure we've all used the word ago. But how do we use it? It's really easy to use. Hooray! We use it to talk about how much time before now something happened. Hmm. So that picture we saw was a long time before now. A long time ago. That sounds super easy. Great. No problem. This is going to be a really super week. I ate five minutes ago. I do eat a lot. I could say that quite often. I ate five minutes ago and 20 minutes ago and one hour ago. Hmm, I do eat a lot. So it means you have finished eating. You finished five minutes before now. I ate. That's in the past. Five minutes ago. It's finished. Now let's find that new school. So, why did you need a new school? Do you remember? My dad started a new job just over two years ago. Hmm, Dad's quite important. Dad has a new job. That new job started two years ago. Two years before now. What about you? You're very important to Dad. He loves you. I was in grade six. So I stayed in my old school for a few months. That sounds like a, a good idea. It's always really good to finish a school year before making any big changes. Mum and Dad got married 20 years ago. So Mum was a bit sad. Dad went to a new city. Mum and Dad had lived in that city for a long, long time. Maybe you had been going to your school for a few years. Mum had been there for a very long time. It must have been very difficult for Mum. So what did you do first? We started to look at new schools when Dad got here. So that was two years ago. This big life event took a long time. It all started two years ago. What a nice school. So what did you look at? We looked at 
a public school, a bilingual school, and an international school. Three very different schools. They are all good for different reasons. So, it's a difficult decision choosing a new school. What did you choose? Hmm, very difficult decision. I only started learning English three years ago. So we chose the bilingual school. We thought that an international school would be too difficult for me. There are some good decisions there. Bilingual. Let's look at that word. Bi. B I by that means two. I'm sure you've got a bicycle, two wheels. Lingual. Lingua means language. Bilingual means two languages. And it could be any two languages. English and Spanish, French and German, English and Chinese. Now all of those have two different languages. Now they chose the bilingual school because maybe the international school does a lot of English. And that would make it quite difficult. Was it a good choice? Hmm, I hope so. My first year was really difficult. But that ended nine months ago. Oh, a whole year that is very difficult. Now, that sounds like a very long time, but you go to school for maybe 15 years, maybe more. So one year actually is not very much. Oh dear, it must have been really difficult a bit sad at times. I really wanted a holiday at the end of the year. Well, I think maybe you should have a holiday at the end of the year. If the year was difficult, well, it's always good to just <sighs> relax. No work, no thinking, just playing. Did you get a holiday? Mum decided that I should go to a summer school. So no holiday. Oh, Mum! Mum! Oh well. I'm sure Mum was thinking what was best for you. Oh, they look happy. When my second year started, six months ago, I was ready. So, thank you, Mum. Right, now you see, sometimes Mum and Dad might make very difficult decisions. And at the time... You might think, no, but usually mum and dad, they are pretty smart and they make the decision to help you. It's getting better. 
Well, I hope so. More recently, I have been confident and I started to learn guitar. Just a couple of weeks ago. Wow, very cool. Now, the first year, very difficult. But now, it's getting better. He's confident. He's got something new to do. But this only started a couple of weeks ago. How long is that? Well, a couple. That means two. So he started to play guitar just two weeks ago. That sounds great. It is getting better, isn't it? The big life event starts scary and slowly gets better. But you have to remember, sometimes these things take a long time. Music is popular at my school because a pop star used to come here. But she left long ago. Wow. That must be a very cool school. That's great. I'm sure they never meet the pop star. She was there a long time ago. So where is the school? That's an important part of the decision. If the school is very, very, very far away, well, it doesn't matter how great it is. It would be hard work getting there. Another great thing about my school is where it is. Oh, they're walking. Hmm. I arrived a few minutes ago, but I only left home 10 minutes ago. Wow, we've got two agos there. That's because we've got two different events in the same sentence. We've got arrived at school and left home. So let's see. I arrived a few minutes ago, but I only left home 10 minutes ago. So that's a really short journey to school. That is super. It also means that you can get home quickly at the end of the day. Oh, that's really good. School is great. But being home is really great. Is it all good? Oh, well, that's hoping for a lot. Bad news today. Dum, dum, dum. A moment ago, our teacher told us that we have a test next week. Oh dear, a moment ago. Well, that's, that's a very short amount of time. A moment ago. Hmm, teacher. No problem. He is great. So I'm sure we will all do well. Hmm, well, I'm a teacher. I hope your test is not too easy. Hmm, maybe you've got a much nicer teacher than me. It's all okay now. This big life event. There have been a lot of decisions 
over the last two years. They were a bit scary, but my parents made some great choices. Sometimes you just have to trust mum and dad. They make these big decisions very carefully and they do think about you all the time. Whew. It must be pretty scary being a mum and dad. They don't just have to think about themselves. They've got to think about what is best for you as well. Another time that we need to say a very big thank you to mum and dad. So what were the decisions? My dad got a new job. Well done dad. I stayed at my old school. So dad went to a new place but you stayed behind. Hmm, a bit happy to stay in your old school. A bit sad to not see dad every day. Big decision. There were more. Bilingual school. That's a good decision. Summer school. Well, that Hmm, we thought it was bad, but it was good. Thank you, Mum. Guitar, very cool. You decided to start learning how to play the guitar. Very good decision. And well done, Mum and Dad. Yes. I am really happy now. Wow. So we've gone from super scared to really happy because of one life event. And we've got one more life event and special word next time. So our special word this week was a go. See if you can use it lots of times later today. Maybe you can go and tell your friends. I watched a video five minutes ago. That would be great. So I hope we see you very soon and find out what the next life event could be. It's important this time, it's really, really nice. Everything about this life event is great. So please, come back soon. But let's see what our two final friends have got to say. I think you know. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you, bye.